Hey good people, today I'll tell you about what is a dative covalent bond, okay? It's also called coordinate bond. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and watch till the end so that you can learn this, okay? So we're first going to define what is a dative covalent bond, okay? Uh, then from there, there is an illustration. I'm going to show you how a dative covalent bond can be made or can be formed, okay, from um, two different components, okay. We're actually going to use ammonia and um, BF3, which is boron 3 fluoride, okay. So here we go, let us define first. Let's say explanation, definition and explanation, definition and explanation. You need to know that a dative covalent bond is a covalent bond uh, whereby one atom gives the two electrons that make the bond. Okay, it means what? It means that it's a bond between two atoms or two components whereby one of the atom has a lone pair of electron. Okay, so it actually gives out that lone pair of electron. To make the bond with the other atom, which will actually make our dative covalent bond. Okay, here we go. It's a covalent bond. It's a covalent bond where one atom gives the two electron, the two electrons that make the bond. That make the bond. This is the simplest definition ever, okay? On dative covalent bond. Now, how is it formed? Let's say illustration. Okay, let's uh, consider the reaction between reaction between ammonia, between ammonia, which is your NH3, okay, and uh, boron. 3 fluoride. Okay, what is the structure of ammonia? Your NH3 is actually this nitrogen has a valence of 5. Okay, so give 3 atoms and remain with 2, which is this lone pair of electron. Okay, then what is the structure of BF3? Boron has a valence of 3, gives it to these 3 Fs, and uh, fluoride. It's an um, it's a halogen, okay? It has a valence of seven. That's why we're putting this pair of electron this way. Okay. Now let us consider the reaction between these two components. What will actually happen? We have ammonia here with its lone pair of electron plus your BF three. This is what we have. Okay, this is what we have. So what will happen? This atom of nitrogen gives the two electron to B to make a bond, which is our dative covalent bond. Okay, so what do we actually get? We get this. We actually get this this way. Okay, it comes and makes this our dative covalent bond. Okay, this is your dative covalent bond here, and most of the time they also represent it as an M. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe. Okay, and uh, see you on the next video.